Do you struggle with match coverage in Madden 23? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get players wide open in the flats from both under center and shotgun base formations. Let's get into it. What is up guys, Zan from the Zan Madden YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the halfback swing route and why it is so important for beating match coverages, whether that be quarters, palms, cover six, or cover nine base defenses. And we're gonna show this to you from shotgun and under center offenses both here today. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, this is obviously something that is going to be more of an underneath manipulation that is going to make quarter flat defenders completely leave their side of the field wide open because we're taking advantage of a rule set that is found in quarters known as solo check for those that don't know in the quarters defense the solo check is something that is utilized by the linebacker that is on a running back side when you have what is known as a three by one formation when you get this essentially what this means is that the quarter flat defender is man to man with the running back and the outside quarter on the solo receiver is man to man with the solo receiver himself, basically allowing us to have all of the other zones cheating over towards the trip side of the formation. Effectively, this is kind of how the defense ends up relating to the route combination once the ball is snapped. So what we're going to do here in today's video is we are going to basically take advantage of what should be a smarter negotiation of some switching lane combinations in this route combination. And we're going to basically take our running back and swing him to the wide side of the field while clearing out the entire left side of the field for a receiver that will be running a drag. So essentially with this route combo, we're gonna do something kind of like this, which when the ball is snapped, you're gonna see that the solo quarter check whatever you want to call it on the back side runs after the running back and that it allows us to throw the drag underneath and scamper up the field so once again i'm going to show this to you all you have to do is put the running back on a swing to the wrong side of the field and we're going to take somebody could be anybody could be cooper cup could be the point man could be the tight end and we are going to run them underneath the coverage and you'll see here that that quarter flat bails that allows us to throw a drag wide open and scamper up the field for a nice big game. Now, this particular manipulation is something that actually exists under center as well. And uh, for whatever reason, you guys can run this out of a variety of different formations. I'm gonna show this to you out of the tight Y off. This is something that I frequently will audible into when I am attacking quarters or zone as well. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna utilize the exact same rule set by swinging the running back to the wide side of the field. We can run whatever route combo we want. And we are going to hitch the backside receiver on this play. And then of course your tight end can run whatever. I would actually recommend running him on a drag. And again, for some reason with this particular route combo, we're gonna be taking a look at the quarter flat to the right side of the field. For whatever reason, when we snap this ball, you're gonna notice that he bails on the play, leaving the entire right side wide open for a check down. Now we could use a hitch on this route combo, but in this example, I'm gonna show you guys a whip. And the reason that I wanna do this is that the route combo is gonna be wide open in the flat, which allows us to kind of dump it down underneath. And then, you know, you could make a move up the field. Obviously this is gonna be something that gets away more from the user on this play. So this is something that you guys can utilize quite a bit from under center. I will say that you wanna be careful with this route combo because if you try to swing the running back over towards the tight end side, sometimes this route combination will end up not causing the quarter flat to work so if you take a look at the left side of this um, if i were to try to invert this route combo um, you'll actually note that the quarter flat plays correctly on this for some reason and you see right there that in this case we actually have the slant open so the receiver that is the shallow cross that we utilize going right to left he was covered going right to left, but for some reason left to right, that's the receiver that ends up being open. So um, that ends up being pretty effective for you. But you guys can utilize swing routes all together against match coverage for a variety of different coverages. In fact, let's go ahead and take a look at one of the coverages known as cover four palms. And cover four palms is a pretty popular coverage that a lot of pros use just because it's called palms, funny enough. Uh, they don't really understand the, the true rule sets of the palms coverage. But one thing that I do want to tell you guys is that if you do run a trips formation here with this, this can get really interesting because 
it will cause the quarter flat to become very, very confused. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to put the right bumper on a streak. I'm gonna put the tight end on a post. Uh, you could use a slant to ax, whatever you want. And then we're gonna swing the running back to the wide side of the field. It's that simple. And when we snap this ball, you're gonna see that that quarter flat just bails, leaving the streak wide open on this. So, um, you know, these swing routes kill quarter flat logic in this game. It doesn't matter if it's quarters, palms, cover six or cover nine. In fact, let me go ahead and show you the last example was palms. Let me go ahead and audible into the cover six defense here. And you're gonna see the exact same behavior out of this particular route combo as well. So um, again, something that looks like this, uh, where you put the tight end on like a post or something. And this swing for some reason bites down the quarter flat, allowing us to launch this over the top. So if you guys get a lot of cover six and cover nine uh, run against you, go ahead and run something like this because it'll be really, really effective. Now, as far as trips formations go for shotgun, um, I do wanna show you guys one last tip here. We're gonna go right back into the quarters defense. Uh, we'll even run some uh, some palms as well. I'll throw that in the audibles just real quick for you guys. And I'm gonna call a trips set here. Again, one by three. And I'm gonna swing the running back back to the wide side of the field. We'll go ahead here uh, and run that same route combo from the last example. This is against quarters. And you're gonna see right here that uh, again, we kind of have, you know, the entire left side of that field wide open. So if you're facing a lot of quarters, you don't actually want to run the combo I just broke down. You once again would want to go with a drag or something like that because that's going to end up allowing you to kind of confuse that left side and be able to throw this route underneath. And you see that we can then scamper up the field for a big game. Now, again, if they're in palms or cover six, you guys are going to be able to still utilize the swing by the running back, uh, a streak by the point man. Um, you could probably even just honestly do something like this to hedge your bet against all those coverages. And you'll see right here that if you do something like this, you'll be able to throw you know these lobs over the top for the one play score. So with this route combo that I just showed you, if it's palms, you're gonna see the busted coverage all the way to the right side of the field. If it's quarters, you're gonna end up seeing the drag wide open underneath right away because the running back side quarter flat is gonna run all the way to that side of the field with him in match coverage. But there you guys have it. How to utilize halfback swing routes to annihilate match coverage in Madden 23. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Make sure you guys also hit the notification bell so you're notified of all the uploads here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. If you want more, head over to my strategy website, gridirongameplans.gg, just around the corner from our Madden 24 pre-sale where you guys are going to make out like bandits for the full year of Madden 24. More details on that in the future. Otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow in our next YouTube upload. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab, man. Good luck.